everybody, welcome back to Done Dirt Cheap Makeup and today we're gonna be looking at the new Maybelline Blush Nudes palette. I have to say, this is my favorite out of the four palettes that came out because they do have a bright palette, a nude palette, and then I wanna say the smoky palette, and this is the blush nude, so you're obviously getting like really lighter, kind of rosy tone shades, and at first glance, it really reminds me of the Naked 3. I'm not gonna compare them, but uh, just kind of putting that out there, it's there are some shades that are almost dead on. Um, as far as the pigmentation and quality, you're not getting like super crazy pigmented shades, but I do have to say with a base, especially a white base, um, these are really pretty. The lighter shades, when swatched, they are kind of chalky, and um, if you do use these without a base, I've noticed they kind of just blend out and off your eyes. So for me, I would say you have to have a primer or a base, or you're not going to really get the color payoff that you know most people would like. But I mean, the colors in this palette are so pretty. I'm wearing this on my eyes today. But of course, I do have a base underneath and it is just the NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I thought I had it here, but I guess I don't. I love that. It's a perfect white base for these shadows because they stick really nicely. So the only thing that I have on my eyes today is this palette. I do have a little bit of this in the inner corner. And then, this is gonna sound kind of weird, but I do have this Revlon uh, balm stain up underneath my eyes. And then I did pack the shade over top. I do use lipsticks or kind of stains on my eyes more often than you would think. Um, they just work good for me. I know it's kind of weird, but I just, I don't know, I like to use my products in weird ways, I guess. And then in the inner corner, I took this Hard Candy a Glitter Eyeshadow, which I have a full review on. Um, anyways, I won't go into detail with this, um, but I do have that on the inner corner of my eyes, and then um, I kind of mix this white shade with this in the inner corner to get more of a diffused look, and then I did put this on a little more concentrated just right here. So I do really love this palette. Like I said, you do need a base, but the shades in here are so beautiful. They're just like soft and just sexy. They're just really pretty. Although some of the shimmery shades, you know what, they are really pigmented, so no complaints there. Like I said, the lighter shades are kind of chalky and powdery and you do need a base or they're gonna blend like off your eyes. But these, you know, the deeper shades and the shimmery shades, they are really pretty and you know what, they have enough pigment to get a great eye look. And keep in mind guys, this palette was only $9.99 I believe at Walmart. Um, let's see, yeah, $9.98 at Walmart and you get 12 shadows. I know some of the lighter shades aren't that pigmented or whatever, but I mean, just use a primer. It's so worth your money. I mean, that's less than a dollar a shade. And look how pretty this is. I love this. This is something I'll use to travel because, you know, I don't want to bring a really nice palette traveling and then it gets all like cracked or bunched up or knowing me, who knows what will happen with it. But I just... I really love this. I think Maybelline did a really good job and it's not near as expensive as the L'Oreal palettes. Um, I have to say the L'Oreal palettes are definitely more pigmented and more towards the high end side. What really grabbed my attention for this palette is just the shades. They are so beautiful, soft, sexy. I mean, you're getting cream shadows. You got a really pretty baby light pink, which I have on my lid today. And then in the crease, I have a mixture of these three colors right here. Um, this on my lower lash line, you got these beautiful, soft, kind of shimmery grays with a little bit of pink in them. So here is a close-up of the palette. Aren't they just so beautiful and soft? I really do love this palette. It's just so pretty. I am going to do swatches of these, but I am gonna use a primer just so you guys can see them at their full potential um, because I just, I just think this is such a great palette as far as the shades go. Um, some of them are pretty pigmented, some of them are not, but just as far as the shades and the tones go, I would pick it up just because I feel like they're a little bit more unique than your average, you know, gold, bronzes, you know, chocolatey browns, just the typical kind of um, naked one palette shades or the naked shade, you know, from Urban Decay. Those are kind of typical in the drugstore and every kind of line of makeup, whether it's CoverGirl, Maybelline, L'Oreal, you know. So I really do like how they kind of thought outside of the box a little bit with this palette. So here we have the beautiful swatches. As you can see, they are pretty pigmented if you build them up. Sorry, you guys, I'm eating the Troll Sour Bright Crawlers. These are awesome. Does anybody like love these as much as I do to like buy a huge like freaking mongo pack like this 
and that'd be awesome if I could just be like, here, you guys want some, you could like reach and grab some. That I know I'm a dork. And I didn't apply this with my finger. Um, I did put a foundation underneath, so not a primer, but a foundation works just the same. Oh, by the way, has anybody tried this Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour? This is really pretty. I'm not wearing this today, but I do love that foundation. But anyways, I applied these swatches with this brush. This is just a brush from Walgreens. And um, I did kind of go in and out of the palette about three times. So this is like, you know, three coats. But I mean, look how pretty these are. I know some of the shades are kind of similar. But I mean, come on, guys. It's only $9.98. Like, I'm not going to complain, especially when you get... Uh, you know, pretty good payoff. So pretty on the eyes. Like I said, I'm wearing this on my eyes today other than the products I mentioned. And I mean, look how it's pretty pigmented and I have no complaints. I mean, I know some of them are chalky, but when you apply them on the eyes, they don't look chalky. So I really do like that. Yes, I did have a primer underneath or a base in my X Milk base, but um, I mean, it still looks really nice. So I do love these. I love the shimmery ones and even like there's a few matte. I think there's what two mattes. There's some uh, shades that have glitter in it but have like a matte base behind it and the glitter is not like super chunky. So you guys if you take a look at my eyes you can see you know I got a nice blend to my look. It doesn't look chalky even though the shadow swatch kind of chalky. I mean I'm really pleased with the look I came out with. They don't blend out as nicely as I would like but you know what it's workable and like I said it's so cheap and the shades are beautiful. Love the pigmentation for only $9.98. So anyways guys thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys and have an awesome week.